Welcome back to the 21 days of Yule. Today is day 16. So let's see what our little holiday calendar has in store for us today. Today's activity is release. Today's activity is release. And so all we're really gonna be focusing on doing today is making a list of things we want to release in our lives, things that no longer serve us, things that we want to move out of the way, our obstacles, the things that we feel are hampering us from our personal growth or from making progress on our path. For a ritual like this, I like to keep it really simple. I like to write down several things that I know I really want to release and I like to keep them simple, short, and powerful. It can help to meditate before, during, or after this ritual on the reason that you want to release these things. I find meditating a bit beforehand to be the most useful because by the time I am truly doing the symbolic act of the releasing, I want to be clear on why and feel like I'm really ready to let go. And so what I like to do is make my list and then roll it up and set it on fire in a fireproof safe container. If you have a fireplace that's wood burning, it's perfect to place it right on top of your fireplace. If you have an outdoor fire pit that allows for a little bit of added paper uh, to be burned safely, that works really well. If you are not comfortable working with fire or don't have a safe way to work with fire, then another really great way to do this, believe it or not, is to just write on a little piece of toilet paper and flush it down the drain. Um, if you are going to write on tissue or toilet paper, then I highly recommend that you keep it to a small amount of paper. You definitely don't want to clog things up, so just keep it small and I recommend using a soft felt tipped marker to write on the toilet paper because it shreds really easily so you'll have trouble writing on it with like a ballpoint pen like this one. There's other ways as well. You can pick up some parchment paper and this is a really cool way to do this type of activity is you can pick up a piece of parchment paper, um, something that's really easily compostable and keep it, again, keep it small. Write your words, tear them up into little pieces and bury them off of your property so somewhere that like is really about releasing, somewhere where you know it will break down. Now, depending on the kind of release work you're doing, something else you could do is a transformative kind of release work, where you write about how you want to transform, say, fear into confidence, or loss into healing, for example. And you can write, you can actually get small pieces of paper that have seeds embedded in them. They're very popular for, um, favors sometimes in weddings and things like that. So you can get seed paper and you can write what you want to release and then you can plant that seed paper somewhere out of doors and as the paper breaks down, so as the thing you're trying to release breaks down, it then through the natural process of the moisture in the earth and the nutrients it will then draw from the earth, the seeds will sprout and you will end up growing or nurturing that thing that you want to transform what you're releasing into. Uh, through the process of the seed germinating and growing. So that's a really cool way to do stuff like this as well. But I might go to, just for simplicity, is usually fire. <laughs> so I'm going to make a short list and focus on this for myself. I invite you to do some form of this ritual today. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be involved. Everybody has toilet paper and you can usually scrape up a soft marker and you can also hold a piece of toilet paper even if you don't want to write on it hold a piece of toilet paper in your hands and just hold it between your palms and send all of your intention for what you want to release into that small piece of toilet paper and then ball it up and with your intention and your focus throw the paper into the toilet and give it a good old flush so it doesn't have to even be written on but anyway you want to engage with this activity, I encourage you to give it a try. I'm going to make my list right now. Once you have your list, I like to keep my paper to paper burning needs here to a minimum.
Now what I like to do is roll it up. Sometimes I'll fold it first. It just makes for it to be easier to burn. And I like to roll mine up into a little tube. I did that kind of out of frame, but I think you get the idea. So roll it into a tube. And I'm just going to pinch the bottom end shut here because that's the part I'm going to set a light and I want it to really catch and I want it to have enough to really get going. Now I like to have mine ideally small enough to go into the bottom of my cauldron. I like to usually tip it up just a little bit at an angle because I find in my cauldron it burns a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to do it like this. I've got that little folded bit there. Now this is a cast iron cauldron. It's got feet that keep it up off the table. So I'm going to focus on my release. And I like to watch as the fire eats the paper all up and turns it completely into ash. If I notice that the fire burns out completely and it's no longer burning, I'll add more flame. it's nearly completely ash I like to take a smudge stick or a um, herbal bundle here for cleansing and I like to light it and just clear out that smoke mix that smoke with the cleansing herbs just to make sure that any smoke that lingers from these ashes is cleansed and purified and it's not another way for these energies to linger. I sort of imagine capturing that smoke, running it through the sage, or in this case this is rosemary and cedar, and just giving it a little wash. And once I can't see any glow anymore in my ashes, I will take what's left here. I'll add some water to it and create a bit of a slurry and I will flush this down the toilet or I will pour this into plants if I want to work with that transforming energy. But usually I want this energy completely gone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for today's 21 Days of Yule and I will see you tomorrow for a new activity. Thanks you guys. Bye.